this is a video of my uh, Nixie tube clock. Um, it comes with iron 18 Nixie tubes, which uh, I got uh, from Russia. You can order these uh, on eBay. Uh, there's a few sellers that actually just sell these. Um, but just be careful which ones you choose. Make sure the seller you choose has good feedback. Uh, nothing negative. There were some shonky ones I've heard, but uh, the one I got was actually very, very good. Highly recommend. Anyway, the kit itself comes from uh, pvelectronics.co.uk from Pete. Uh, thanks, Pete, once again for your help um, and assistance with um, the actual kit. Um, as you can see, um, I have a really nice American oak uh, box, which uh, is very low profile, which I wanted for a reason, just to uh, show the height of the tubes. Um, the box, um, American oak, uh, took me about an hour to send down using 350 and 400 grit sandpaper. Then I applied three coats of um, Danish oil. Uh, 10 minutes between coats and rubbed in with steel wool um, 4-0 grade I believe and that's how it came out really nice the box itself um, was fabricated by Pete from pvelectronics.co.uk um, he doesn't sell this particular box but um, I asked him to uh, basically make this box for me um, I gave the dimensions and the style I wanted plus I asked him to cut off the grooves as you can see, he did a fantastic job, and I think it really looks good on this clock. Uh, it's just a really good example of um, just uh, what, what great service Pete provides, and uh, just you know um, shows you uh, the quality of the custom work he's willing to do for his clients. So, highly recommend. Thanks, Pete. Um, the clock uh, is feature rich. Um, it has a bucket full of parameters uh, including GPS synchronization as you can see date time uh, slot machine every 10 minutes which basically prolongs the um, life of the tubes itself also has night mode which you can dim or turn off the tubes itself just to preserve the life um, it's currently 6 p.m. so obviously it's uh, not turned off but it my one switch is about midnight because I'm always sleeping at that time anyway um, at the moment, as you can see at the back, I have power going in and this cable is for actual GPS sync. Uh, the GPS receiver is actually on my window right there. It syncs every two hours. You can set it to whatever you want, I believe. Uh, two hours is default. Um, I don't have a clear sight of satellite from the window, but um, I was told that uh, the receiver is very sensitive and actually it is. Uh, it's synchronized straight away. Um, and it does that every two hours, so it's working really, really effectively. Um, the kit itself um, took me about four hours to solder. That's sort of the finished quality of of the soldering I've done. Um, but as you can see, it's really nice. It came with oh, slot machine. There you go. I mentioned that before. So what that does, it cycles the digits um, every ten minutes, just to prevent cathode poisoning. Um, but here that's the actual kit itself. Took me about four hours um, to put together. Uh, not very hard if you have soldered before. You just have to be careful. You identify all the components correctly um, and you do the proper testing. You need a multimeter, things like that. Um, but anybody with um, basic to moderate um, soldering and electronic skills will be able to put this kit together. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, I'm really happy with it, guys. Um, I have another one to do. I have an iron A2, um, which I'm going to put together. I'm just missing a component, so I'll check that on eBay as well once it's ready. It actually came in a different different box. I have another box fabricated for it right there, side by side, which I also um, like it. And it's already prepared and ready to go for the next kit. So, just to compare side by side. So that one is coming. I'll be ready probably very shortly. Um, one more recommendation, power supplies. If you're thinking about building one of these, um, power supplies are very important. Make sure you buy a high quality regulated power supply. Um, a lot of them out there are not regulated, um, are quite cheap, made in China type of stuff. Uh, be careful what you buy because you can actually buy 
quality product for half the price. Um, I was recommended uh, by Pete to get one of these guys. He uses them himself. It's an FSP uh, group power supply. Uh, the output is uh, DC 12 volts, 1.25 amp. Um, it's an X laptop so power supply, so now it's regulated, so high quality. Um, it works really well and it only cost me $12, which included shipping from Hong Kong. So buy one of these guys instead of something else and take the risk, but it, it works fine for me. Um, anyway, really enjoying it. Uh, it looks brilliant. Um, highly recommended and uh, definitely would buy again. Thanks guys.